Hey folks, Jonathan again. Got back to, to work on this engine a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I, I had already marked the holes out where we wanted them and on the last video. And what I've come up with is some wax paper. And you can just about, well, you can see right through it. So we're going to lay it out and mark it where we want it. And of course, take it off. We'll put it on our plate and uh, we'll center punch the holes so we can drill the plate then we'll lay the plate back on and center punch through the holes back into our cylinder here and so we'll go ahead and get that done but picked up another piece uh, went to a friend of mine's house and uh, he had a long piece and we just torched this off so I've got to do some grinding and machining on it but this is going to be our walls for our steam chest it's a piece of six by eight and uh, fits good on my piece and you know we'll Get it on and weld it and that'll give us a little better look on the corners and which I could do that with the flat plate but I'd have to do a lot of welding and grinding and then uh, we'll probably put a piece in and uh, you know in the sides because this is only a quarter inch thick. I really wanted half but as long as we can get something where we can get a good piece bolted in and uh, we'll figure it out. Okay we've got our piece all marked out here. The, uh, the wax paper we put uh, the black dots where we want them. Uh, sprayed a little uh, copper coat on there and uh, as you can see this stuff lays right down on there and sticks good and you know we'll have it up done and off before it dries or anything but uh, got it where I want it left to right perfect uh, you know put us a straight line on there and uh, wanted to make sure that you know it it was on the, the pump straight so we're going to go ahead and center punch our holes where we want them and then, uh, and then we'll drill this plate out and uh, get it cleaned back up and keep rolling on it. Okay folks, we got our drilled here and this is what we ended up with and uh, we can actually look through our little holes here and see our little black uh, sharpie marks so we can get it lined up good. We'll get it back off the motor here, the engine and then uh, we get it lined up good and clamp it good and then we'll go through these holes and mark every one of them and uh, we'll get to drilling and tapping and okay folks we're making some headway on this thing I've uh, got all the holes drilled and ready to tap them I uh, only had one clamp on it when I had my plate up there and it slid a little bit and I actually marked it with a uh, drill bit in a cordless drill and I got a couple marks off but I was luckily caught it and was able to move it before before I actually drilled it so we're okay but what we're going to do we're, I've got a, a Jarvis tapping head here and uh, got it on my old uh, uh, camelback drill press and we're going to go ahead and uh, tap tap the holes I've tapped three of them and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tap a few more I don't know if some of you may not have seen one of these work before but I'll, uh, I'll show you how they work you can actually use this thing in a drill press but uh, you know, a small drill press. If you run it slow, it takes the number two Morse taper, and uh, of course, this drill here is the number four, so I've got it adapted down with an adapter. But uh, does a good job. But uh, I'll turn it on here and let you see it. Uh, see it do a hole or two. Okay, uh, 
I'll show you how this tapping head works. You can see it was stopping there every once in a while. And the reason being is I wasn't putting pressure on it. Uh, the way this works is is just turning. As you can see, it's not now it's not moving. But as soon as you put down pressure on it, it spins that way. And as soon as you put up pressure on it, it spins the opposite way. So you know you don't have to worry about your your feet on your drill press, you know, forcing a hole through or anything like that. So. It works really well and you get a good straight hole and that's what we're after here because I mean I've hand tapped plenty of stuff but you know I don't end up with a real good straight hole so. Okay folks I got all the holes drilled and tapped and ready to go. Uh, the uh, everything you know seems like it's going to screw down fine. I don't uh, I don't have short bolts for it. I want to go get socket head cap screws and I may countersink them. Okay folks, I showed you before the reason that we couldn't uh, mill this and put a exhaust port through there and uh, as you can see, you know, we've just got one thin wall inside here and uh, you know, we, we really can't, you know, put a groove over like we did on the other engine. We can't bring it to the center and, uh, and I really needed this bolt in the center and uh, anyway there's a there's sort of a T here a crossroads there that is a you know it's a it's thicker and I wouldn't be off the edge because as you can see like on this one here you know it come off off of the edge and you know this was a full bolt all the way all the way through it's threaded all the way so uh, what I am going to have to do and I'll pull the plate back here and, and show you and I probably discussed this before but we'll show you again I'm going to sort of draw out where my ports are going to be and uh, and like I said this is I've got a paper here for a, uh, that I was making a little template but uh, but this will give you an idea of what what I plan to do we will have you know one intake port here going into the piston and of course one on this side going into the other end of the piston and then uh, we're going to have, and that's a big one there, but anyway, uh, we're going to have one for exhaust right in the center. And that's going to basically be lined up with this bolt right here. And, uh, and you know, I could move them. I mean, it wouldn't be a big deal to move them. Uh, I mean, they're just going in, but I want to get it in the center. We don't have a lot of room here to run with the, with the bolts at the end, of, you know, on each side. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drill two holes. A uh, quarter inch, and we'll drill them directly in the side of this plate here, and uh, and here, and we're going to run them. They'll actually be running into the angle, and uh, you know bypass that screw hole, and uh, they'll be quarter inch. They'll be two quarter inch, so I, that'll be plenty to to exhaust it. And then when we're done with that, we're uh, you know this slot I can go ahead and go all the way through. That's not a not a problem there. But uh, we will make an, a manifold, and the manifold will actually cover both ends of this and come through. And I may take I may take a piece of black iron pipe and actually crush one end of it to make this manifold, and it'll come out. And then if we can, you know, keep it as short as we can, but make it long enough where it's got threads on the end, and then I can put a put an elbow on it and bring it up but we want to have exhaust on both sides instead of just having two holes sticking out you know that really wouldn't look too good and uh, but once we you know get this finished up we can uh, we can actually come up on the side of the uh, of the steam chest a little bit with our manifold above it and uh, you know we won't have to crush it completely flat but we'll weld it in and make it you know make it look decent and uh, and like I said just let these two holes be the be the ports for it and you know there's really no other good way of doing this and uh, I, you know I can't really run them to the center I can't you know there's no way of drilling holes there and even if I drilled them all the way through into the center that it just wouldn't work out too well and uh, you know running it down or anything like that and we still got our plate we've got to uh, you know to go between these and it's gonna be kind of a tight fit but we will get it in there and uh, you know get it welded up get it sealed up good and you know that's one of the reasons I want to use them socketed cap screws because we can keep it 
over close to the you know close to the edge there and that'll give me enough room to get a weld in there and we we'll grind it a little better machine it whatever we got to do that's not a problem uh, and of course our other piece that uh, that I picked up at a buddy of mine you know it's an old rusty piece but you know I, that's what I prefer to use anyway and uh, but that'll actually you know get welded on and we'll we'll you know get all the corners right make it all look like it's supposed to be there and uh, and like I said, we can run our exhaust piece up on here a little bit. And, you know, there's a, this won't be quite that tall when I'm done. You know, I've got to grind it off good. And then, you know, before I start machining it, and then I'll machine it down and get it all flat. And, and uh, it'll work out really good. But uh, I think, uh, I think we're going to end this one here. And we'll get back at it on the next one on getting these ports done. And uh, I think we can. You know, keep rolling on this thing, get it together pretty soon. And uh, I just want to appreciate everybody that's subscribed. And, you know, we're, it seems like we're getting subscribers daily. And, of course, we've got the rat rod build coming up, too. And it's uh, I'm glad I didn't postpone it for one day because it's still Sunday and it's just it's still pouring rain. So uh, we really needed the rain. So, I, you know, I really don't want to complain about it. But uh, we're going to try it again next Saturday. And... And uh, I think it just all it's going to do is make it bigger and better. And uh, and uh, you know, like I said, I appreciate everybody watching, and I appreciate everybody else's videos too. I enjoy watching them. And uh, to Eric, fins up. And uh, if y'all need anything, let me know. Bye.